Thousands taking to the streets across the Bay Area marching for abortion, abortion rights. We saw huge marches in Mountain View, Palo Alto, San Francisco, and beyond. As KPIX 5's John Ramos explains, many felt it was important to show up in numbers so their voices could be heard loud and clear. The Supreme Court's expected decision to overturn Roe v. Wade has turned the abortion issue from a simmer up to a high boil. But the question is, how much will public furor even influence this court? There have been marches over abortion before, both pro and con, but today's was huge as thousands of Bay Area abortion rights advocates joined a nationwide protest. It's huge, and we're thrilled. And it's not just the East Coast, it's Chicago, it's Texas, and it's in little towns, and it's in big cities. And San Francisco had to be a part of this. There's no way San Francisco would not be a big part of this, and we are a big part of it. Enough is enough! We've gotten comfortable. Organizer Tylea Haygood told the crowd they need to be realistic about the direction the court is heading. I think people need to start accepting the hard truth of realizing that this leak is the Supreme Court justice's decision. We can still fight, we can still act up, we can still make a ruckus in the streets, but doing that with the realization that they have made their decision that this is where they stand will empower the people a lot more. With that, thousands marched out of Civic Center and onto Market Street, heading down to the waterfront. Among them, Janice Campbell from Oakland, who said while the argument over abortion hasn't ended, she thought it had been decided as a matter of law. I was in law school when it was settled, and we all assumed it would just last forever. Those old enough to remember when Roe v. Wade was established in 1973 understand how contentious the issue was and has been ever since. I feel like we've been fighting for the past 50 years to keep it. It's, it I feel like it's been threatened for a long time. But younger women have grown up with the idea of abortion as a constitutional right and are facing the prospect that that may no longer be the case. And I can't believe in 2022 that we're marching for abortion rights. Like, as I grew up, it was something that was protected and something that I knew I had access to. And to know that it's now threatened for me and, and our children and our granddaughters is horrifying. But by design, the Supreme Court is the one branch of government that is not supposed to be affected by public opinion. So how much influence can mass protest marches have? Angela A. thinks it won't change any justice's opinion but she feels if people become more politically active, they can influence future court appointments, even if the process seems agonizingly slow to some. They're getting their way. Republicans have been planning this for decades. They're winning right now, but that doesn't mean it has to be forever. They can win this battle. Eventually, we could go back to what it should be, and we can win the war. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Some are advocating for a federal law that would legalize abortion nationally. A recent CBS poll shows that 58% of Americans favor that idea, while 42% oppose it. 